Today, we're going to talk about what load testing is, as well as give you a demonstration of the LoadView platform. But first, a brief background of why load testing is important and why it's critical for organizations. Poor performing sites and applications can have a seriously negative impact on conversions, transactions, and most importantly, revenue. Even a few seconds of downtime can significantly impact a company's bottom line. For example, a 2017 survey conducted by ITIC, the Information Technology Intelligence Consulting Group, found that a single hour of downtime costs large organizations over $100,000 per year. If you consider specific industries that depend on high volume transactions, like financial services or larger online retailers, the impact is likely more significant and exceed millions of dollars per hour. A subset of performance testing Load testing is the practice of simulating real-world usage, or load, on any software, website, web application, API, or system to analyze and identify factors such as responsiveness, degradation, and scalability. Load testing simulates real-world scenarios on your sites, applications, and systems. Through the information gathered during and after load testing, you can measure the limits and gain insight into the metrics that can help answer questions like the following. How will the number of users affect performance? How many simultaneous users can my website, application, or system handle? Where are the bottlenecks? How many transactions can we handle during a specific period? And what's the breaking point? When will I run out of resources? In the past, load testing was usually only carried out as the completion of a development project. But with renewed focus on the agile software development process, development teams are shifting their testing left, meaning earlier and more often in the process. Knowing exactly how much your site, application, system, or API can handle will help identify and uncover numerous issues, like bugs and database slowdowns, well before any code is committed into your staging environment. For example, all client-side applications should go through various tests to determine their limits and assist with improving the user experience. The purpose of load testing is to simulate the expected traffic that your website, application, or system should adequately manage on a regular basis without experiencing major degradation. There may be instances where systems may experience the occasional slowdown from an unexpected increase in users, but the system should recover and resume normal operations within an expected time frame. Other benefits of load testing include the following. Decreased page load times. Obviously, speed is key when it comes to the user experience, and a slow site or application will make customers impatient or even completely leave your site. If there are pages critical for driving revenue, load testing can help determine the specific issue and help web ops teams prioritize the impacted pages and remedy the issues, minimizing the potential negative impact. Uncover bottlenecks. Load testing an application or site in the development phase can uncover common bottlenecks like CPU, memory, and network utilization, allowing developers to address these issues before pushing code or applications into production. Performance by geographic location. If you know where many of your users come from, setting up a test from those locations can identify specific issues impacting those visitors. This ensures everyone can access your site no matter where they come in from, and the user experience is consistent around the world. Establishing service level agreements. Capacity planning helps determine what hardware and software resources are needed for running an application within a set of predefined requirements. Load testing can assist with predicting how an application will perform under heavy stress and if investing in additional infrastructure will be necessary in the future. Next, we'll go into the demonstration of our load testing platform, LoadView, to show you how quickly and easily you can execute load tests. But before we do, a quick introduction of the platform and the scripting tool, the Every Step Web Recorder. LoadView is our on-demand cloud-based load testing platform that determines how a site, web or mobile application, or API responds to various traffic without the hassle of managing, investing, or maintaining any additional testing infrastructure. Load testing can become a time-consuming process, but LoadView manages the TD's tasks like instantiating generators and setting up global distributed agents for you. This gives developers and engineers more time for designing, executing, and analyzing their tests. Depending on the specific need, use case, or technology of the system being tested, the LoadView platform allows you to choose from three different task types, HTTPS, web pages, 
or web applications. Choosing the HTTPS task allows you to test concurrent users generating HTTP requests to a web server. Choosing the web pages task allows you to test concurrent users loading a single page repeatedly in Chrome or Internet Explorer. Selecting the web applications task allows you to test concurrent users performing a series of scripted actions in Chrome or Internet Explorer. When you need to mimic real user behavior and have web applications that utilize specific technologies and rich internet applications such as JavaScript, CSS, Flash, or Ajax, among many others, using a real browser is key. Using this simulation allows developers to verify the site's functionality and speed as perceived by a user. To script the user behavior, the Every Step Web Recorder is utilized. The Every Step Web Recorder is a free, web-based scripting tool that records every step of a web transaction and replays the script using a real browser. The Every Step Web Recorder records multi-step test scripts of the critical and complex actions your users make, such as button clicks, menu selections, form submissions, shopping carts, and text inputs. Compatible with over 40 desktop and mobile browsers, the Every Step Web Recorder supports virtually anything rendered in a browser, regardless of the technologies used, such as Ajax, Java, HTML5, Flash, PHP, Ruby, and many others. Additionally, the Every Step Web Recorder allows manual editing of your scripts using your own C Sharp code, if necessary for your specific load testing requirements, and reuse them for automating test execution of other repetitive tasks in your environment. These scripts are then uploaded into the LoadView platform and replayed by a virtually unlimited number of concurrent users. Additionally, you can set up scripts that run at specific intervals and alert you and your teams if errors occur, ensuring everything runs smoothly and properly. Now, let's take a look at the LoadView platform in action. Once logged into the LoadView platform, you will be prompted to choose one of the four options to begin your load test, HTTPS, web page, web applications, or clone from an existing device. To test web resource limits by sending HTTPS requests to the target URL without opening it in a browser, select the HTTPS option. Select web page if you need to test web page performance by opening it in a real browser such as Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or mobile browsers and devices. Selecting the web applications task will allow you to track load impact with scripted actions. For the purposes of this video, we will select web applications. This will launch the Every Step Web Recorder. And just to reiterate from before, the Every Step Web Recorder records multi-step test scripts of the critical and complex actions your users make, such as button clicks, menu selections, form submissions, shopping carts, and text inputs. It is compatible with over 40 desktop and mobile browsers and supports virtually anything rendered in a browser, regardless of the technologies used such as Ajax, Java, HTML5, Flash, PHP, Ruby, as well as many others. You have the option to choose from multiple device types, desktop or mobile, as well as browser type and resolution. Selecting Record Now will open the Every Step Recorder. This will open a browser window, and as you navigate through your page, you will see that the actions are being recorded. For example, we'll record ourselves logging into an application. We'll see that it scripts the action as you enter the details in each field. As a best practice, we recommend checking for at least one keyword per page in order to verify that content loads and renders successfully. You can highlight the word or words and right click or select from the option in the left side toolbar. This will bring up the content validation dialog box with your selected text. You also have the option to use the RIA image capture. After pressing the image button, you can click and drag your mouse cursor to select an area of the page. This will create a reference image used to verify the site content later. This image is also an anchor for further actions. This means that mouse clicks and movements within an RIA image capture area will be tied not to the overall site grid, 
but to exact coordinates relative to the specified image. This gives you additional flexibility and precision while working with dynamic RIA sites based on technologies that do not generate document object model elements, such as Flash, Silverlight, Java, and Flex. Image validation is a function available from the left side toolbar of the EveryStep web recorder under validation. It allows you to validate the existence of an image or section on a page. Once you have your script recorded, select Stop Recording and this will save the script. You will be prompted to replay the script to ensure that it was successfully recorded without any errors. You will have an opportunity to make fixes at that time or re-record the script. If there are any errors, they will be displayed as script errors or network errors. We will name our script that we will upload into the LoadView platform. It's here you can also modify script settings, such as completion timeout, abort script on first error, and DNS options. Check out our other videos for more information on advanced settings and configurations. Once you're ready, you can select Create Device. From here, you will have additional settings to configure, such as user behavior, dynamic variables, and your load test execution plan. User behavior allows you to set delays to simulate real user behavior, such as navigating through a page, mouse movements, or typing. Dynamic variables allow you to simulate different users logging in, visitors searching for different products, or dynamic URL testing by specifying dynamic variables. The LoadView platform gives you three options when it comes to selecting your load type. Load step curve, goal based curve, and dynamic adjustable curve. The load step curve is configured with a predetermined number of concurrent users for specified time durations. The goal based curve automatically adjusts concurrent users to reach a required rate of transactions per time interval. The dynamic adjustable curve allows you to manually adjust concurrent users in real time while the test is running. For the purposes of this video, we'll run a load step curve test. We'll start with one user and raise by two users per minute for two minutes. And then we'll hold at five users for two minutes. You can view the test in real time to see the status of the test, response times, cumulative sessions, errors, and CPU metrics of the load injectors. If there are any errors during the test, they will also be recorded. Once the test is complete, a report will automatically be generated and will include two sections, the summary and the session report. The summary report is an outline of the basic stress test properties and line charts showing changes in the number of simulated users and load level, response time falls and growth, the number of sessions and errors detected at different time points, as well as load injector CPU usage diagrams. The session report is a list of all user sessions with drill down information that displays errors, brief descriptions for failed sessions, and waterfall charts. Also included is a video of a reference session. The video record is synced with an interactive waterfall chart displaying details of the application or page's code performance. It's the fastest way available to diagnose errors and minimize downtime. You don't have to guess about what to fix or what users are experiencing. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to try LoadView yourself, please visit our site or contact our support team at 888-479-0741. Thank you again and happy testing.